Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Sunday baseball on the show. It's the Seattle Mariners and the Detroit Tigers. And now, and we'll be back with the first pitch right Detroit after this. Tiger. So almost ready to get underway. And our starting pitcher here today, Jay Mack, singing he is one of the best to ever do it. Over 5,000 strikeouts, and I think it's in the head of his opponents. It's almost like guys expect a strikeout. Can't wait to watch his electric stuff in this one. So just about set now. Now it's the right fielder, Alberto Marte. Leading off the afternoon for Seattle, the right fielder, Alberto Marte. And a pitch. That one finds the zone, and away we go this afternoon. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. The punch out there, one gone here. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little the anxious. Sal Freilich. Now it's going to be Sal Freilich. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. That one's in there on one. That slider breaking in can be a tricky pitch. If you don't finish it and have that bite at the end and it stays out over the plate, it can get hit a long way. But that was a good one right there. The 0 2. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Back to back strikeouts. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys that in a lineup third. to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good Marte. out there on the mound because Whoa, when you think head. of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Next to hit, Martin Velasquez. And that's in there for strike one. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. All right, there's number eight, one away. Here's the 0-2. Got him! And how about that? It's an immaculate inning. Well, he's saying, who needs the defense? An immaculate inning. Three strikeouts, nine pitches. We just witnessed something really special. New inning getting started, and here's the first baseman, John Hudson. The, the first baseman, John Hudson. Here we go. The why to kick the pitch. Hey. That's in there. Going one. Oh, one's the count. Kicks and deals. Hey. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Matthew Ross behind the plate. Pitcher's umpire. 
Yeah, pitchers that work side to side effectively love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes, Boo. If you can command your stuff on the outer edges of the strike zone, he will reward you. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's one down. Well, you may think, man, that pitch was right on a tee for him, but I don't care where a knuckleball ends up. Those things dance all over the place. And even when they pass right through the hitting zone, squaring it up or even getting a good piece of it can be a tough task. And now, Ty Osuna. Hey, let's go right here. First offering, and it just misses. Second inning here, no score. Yeah, we got one. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. One down, base is empty. And that one wrapped foul. Bounce to the right, and it goes just foul. No score here in the second. Swings and misses, and there's two away. Now, here is Rob Walker. Hey, let's go right here. Rob Walker. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Now we've got two. And down on strikes. That ends the frame. Mariners are down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back at Comerica Park. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tim Hale. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing. But it's that big arm that really stands out. And there's the strike. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. Comes up empty no, no, on the swing. 0-2 right. now. Hey, no outs now. And a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. One down. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this Got one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. Maximo. That's seven Maximo. strikeouts already. So he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Maximo Acosta oh now at the plate. When you have a catcher that can throw oh like boy. that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. He stays alive. One down, one down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now two gone. <laughs> well, obviously the knuckleball, it's not a pitch designed to blow by hitters, but you'll see this every once Max. in a while. You give up on that pitch at the plate, and then the last moment it darts back into the strike zone and you're just not ready to get a swing off in time looks like it's 100 miles per hour and I tell you what I know from personal experience it's not a good feeling stepping in Max Muncie in there for strike one.
Top of the third, no score. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Nobody left for Seattle, and we're still knotted at zero. Out of the fourth, and now the right fielder, hey, Alberto Marte. For Seattle. The right fielder. Mack, back Alberto. to work. Marte. There's a strike. And he'll one. Foul ball. And we got no one here. And he deals. And fouled off. And one, one and two. two strikes to count. Left hand hitter waits. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, this pitching staff has been merciless against him in this one. I mean, he struck out six times in this series, and we've seen no adjustment out of him so far. So up next, Sal Fraley. One down. Hey, get ahead right here. <laughs> Popped up to the left in the foul got ground. Got I got it, I got Grabs it. it on the run. And there's two down. Up next for Seattle, the third baseman, Martin Velasquez. Martin Velasquez up next for the Mariners. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Good eye right there. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Here we go, guys. Here's a one to one. And now one and now two. One and two. One and two here. Got it. And the Mariners set down one, two, three. Mariners go down quietly there, and we are still scoreless. Back here at the ballpark, and now it's going to be John Hudson. The, Mariners, the first base. The wind and the pitch. John Hudson. Yeah, there's a strike. And the righty deals. Foul ball there. A swing and a soft liner. Makes the catch. One down. The batter, the designated hitter, Ty Osuna. Ty Osuna digs in now. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Hey, one down now, one down. The wind of the pitch. That one fouled off. The Mariners hitless so far in the game. Right side, hard hit. Fires over to first. 
And the first two set down in the top of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And stepping in for the Mariners, Rob Walker. Went down on hey, strikes his first two time through. And that's in there for strike one. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And oh, as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. Hey, plays at one now. Left-hand batter waits. Pitch misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Tough to take a two-strike changeup that just missed. I think it froze him. And he chases that one. And that is that. And one, two, three, go to Mariners. Still no score. Back here in Detroit at the play. Tim Hale. Leading off for the Mariners. The Mac back to Hale. work. Hale. And a foul ball. The pitch. And it's one and one. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 2 count. Instead, it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. Come on, fellas, let's go. And here it comes. There's a strike at the knees, and it's one and two. Hey, no outs here. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. And now for Seattle, Maximo Acosta. The shortstop. Maximo Acosta. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The pitch. Chopped out in front of the plate. On to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Now batting. Second baseman, Max Muncy. Max Muncy hey, up next down, for the Mariners. Fellas. And that chance handled. Over to first. And that is that. So he's perfect through six. Two, three, four due up in the home half of the sixth. And we still have no score. Hey, no outs. Welcome back. Now it's the right fielder, Alberto Marte. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, he hasn't shaking off the catcher very much at all today first pitch and he just hey, misses on, breaking ball in there for a strike one one now on the ground right side Whips it to first. One up, one down. Now that left field. Sal Fraley. Here's the left fielder, Sal Fraley. In there for strike one. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen. But you got to take what he's offering that day. The M's yet to pick up a hit here. Up the middle. And a couple of quick oh. outs. Up next for Seattle, the third baseman, Martin Velasquez. Martin Velasquez. Up next for the Mariners. First pitch just misses. Hey, come on now, fellas. Kicks and fires. There's a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. The tying run at the plate. 
Strike two. Looking to get the tying run on base. Got him. And that'll do it. Nobody left for Seattle. They're down 1 nothing. We're at the top of the eight, and now the first baseman, John Hudson. Leading off for Seattle. The pitch. The first baseman. John. That one misses. One and oh. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's thrown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. Going to count one and two. And that's downstairs and outside. 2-2 two, two down. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And one away. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Now here is Ty Osuna. Back to the mound. Tosses to first, and a couple of quick outs. And he's getting really close to this thing right now. Only four outs left, but it's going to be tough to get. And now the center fielder, Rob Walker. In there, and it's 0-1. The Mariners still looking for their first hit in this one. Next offering is in for a strike. This guy's pounding this zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Here comes a pinch. Stays alive. Here we go now. Let's go. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Mariners are down in order. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. And welcome back. We go to the ninth. Now the Mariners catcher, Tim Hale. Matt, back to work. Hale. And there's the strike. Berg, I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. And a foul ball. Right-hander kicks deals. Outside corner got him looking. He can't believe it. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout. And this one looking, obviously. So he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. So digging in, Maximo Acosta. And that's in there for strike one. They want to make sure they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They are going to make the play. Next pitch is downstairs. And that's in there at the knees. Come on, guys. And 
a swing and a miss. Down on strikes, two away. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Next to hit, Max Muncy. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Come on, fellas, let's go. He's one out away from a null hitter. Swing and a miss, and the count is 0-2. Down to their final strike. Swing and a miss. Got him. A perfect ending to a perfect game. Just unbelievable. I was nervous up here in the booth. I can only imagine what his teammates and even he felt out there on the mound closing this thing out. Everyone will remember this perfect game, and it'll be notched in Cooperstown forever.